Hey everybody, um, this is a bit different than usual, but I don't care. So I've been getting back into FNAF recently, and I've been jumping on that wagon a bit. And Well, I'm going to rank some characters. I'm not doing everybody because that would be an hour-long video, but uh, don't complain if your favorite character isn't in this or anything because I'm not... I'm just, I'd really bored and I don't know what to make on this channel right now and I don't currently have any content to do so this is going to be the best for it. Alright, let's begin. Right, so, here we got Fred, Fred Guy, Freddy Fazbear, and uh, this isn't in a particular order or nothing. I'm just talking about the characters and personally how I feel, but if I, okay, no. This this will be in a ranking system. I'm putting Freddy at my least favorite just in just because I don't know, he's not too interesting. He's just plain, I guess. I don't know, he's in a very low tier. He's not very high because he's just well, he's just bear guy and that's it's all you can really say about him, so that's why he's getting the low tier, the low tier spot. So, uh, up, let's be the next character. All right, um, Withered Bonnie. No, this isn't in the game particular order. Nothing that's it's out of the way now. But um, by the way, full disclosure, there's no FNAF VR guys here. I know the image of Freddy. I think is from VR, but that's the only good image I could find that wasn't fan made. Most of these are trying to be unfan made, but character wise so he's cool i mean the whole face thing's cool it's it's an interesting design he's he's got a hand missing his whole other arm is missing he's got a bunch of tears in him cool wire stuff it's just a character design i like but you know it's not it's not too high up there he's he's pretty low tier so next character all right um golden freddy the one from FNAF 2, but that's pretty much the same thing. Doesn't matter. But Golden Freddy. He's a he's a toss up. I mean, he's cool and all with the abilities and such. Gameplay mechanics. He's very interesting. He's an Easter egg in some, and he's a, a main in others, like Custom Knight. But overall, he's a decent character. But he's not that high ranking because he's. This, but again, his design is a little cool. The color swapped Freddy with, his, you know, nat supernatural kind of abilities and stuff. The other things weren't already considered supernatural. Because again, why wouldn't it be? But <coughs> oh, sorry. But um, yeah, no, he's pretty low ranking. But uh, yeah, that's 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 him. He's cool. All right. The uh, the puppet or the marionette. I spell puppet because I don't know how to spell marionette. It's a complicated word, but um, yeah, this this is higher rank. It gets cool character, like the design of it. Very simplistic, but it's very very intriguing. You know, a lot of characters that don't require too much effort to be cool. Like well, when you can just make a stick with hands, some stripes, and a face, and then it's cool. You know, but um. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the puppet. It's a cool character. Lore wise as well, it's very cool. So yeah, that's uh it's puppet's pretty freaking cool if I gotta say my you know, to be honest. Cool character, cool design, cool stuff. And uh yeah. Uh, that's about it. It's cool. Alright. Um Ennard or Ennard. Nobody calls him Ennard. Ennard. That's his name. Anyway though. So, Ennard's cool. He gets up higher because just his design's a little interesting. But I don't, I don't remember what he was character-wise. I think it was all the animatronics stuffed into one, all the sister location ones. But I don't remember, so it's whatever, you know. <clears throat> but, yeah, he's pretty cool on the list. He's decent, and... um yeah, I like the designs, how he's made out of wires. He's got the whole little chest cage thing going on. His fingers look like they uh, got parts taken off of him because he got wires protruding. His feet look cool. The eyeballs and all that. It's just a cool design with the wires in general, and uh, I think it was pretty cool. 
Anyway, though, next character. If there would be one character that you would be called, maybe, yeah, edgy for liking, I'm guessing, yeah, this guy right here. Nightmare. Cool guy. He's, uh, he's a reskin of Nightmare Fredbear, but he is not on this list. But, um, character-wise, he's cool. Yeah, I like him. He's got, uh, he's got red eyes, yellow bow tie and hat. Got the cool claws going on, if you, if you may be a remake. He's got the chest mouth as well. The head design, the mouth itself, is pretty in, in insanely cool, because, uh, he's got the, the, uh, the, 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 the teeth. There we go. <clears throat> He's also got a singular button, but, um, yeah, he's, he's also got those little small ears there. You gotta have the ears, but, um, yeah, feet two endoskeleton's neat. But, um, yeah, he's a cool character. Nightmare's decent. I haven't played with him, but, uh, he's a cool character. Up next. All right. Family Friendly Freddy. No, Funtime Freddy. Much better. All right, so, uh, yeah, this guy... This guy's cool. His voice actor does a good job. I haven't mentioned the voice VAs yet, but it's, uh, that I must now say him, but, uh, I believe it's Kellen, K Kellen Goff. I don't remember, but it's something like that. Sorry if I butchered your name there, bro, but he is a cool guy. He does a good job with the voice and all that, and I think it's pretty freaking amazing, you know? Uh, the character design, it's very interesting. White and pink is pretty much his whole color palette but it manages to work it's being by being a reskin of freddy it's insane how i i put him higher on the list because i don't normally like the just the freddy remakes but this this is the one that you know catches my eye because he's just a cool character and then the inclusion of bon bon and all that it's just a cool character in general so um he's very high on the list last character oh, oh, oh boy if you thought Nightmare was going to get you called edgy if you liked him, ooh, you're in for a new rodeo here. Springtrap, or William Afton. Um, this guy. Ooh, this guy. You want to know why he's so high on the list? Well, he's my favorite character. My, like, all-time favorite character. You know, who would have thought that the guy who hates edgy stuff, his favorite character would be the, uh, quote-unquote, edgy, child-murdering man? Yeah. Well, I don't like him just because of how, ooh, he's dark, scary, and spook. I just like him character design and story-wise and stuff. He's just an interesting character. He's like, yeah, he's a bad guy, but blah, blah, blah. I don't care if I like, if it's bad to like bad guys or good to like good guys or whatever. I don't care about what that is, okay? Main focus is I like the design. His VA did a good job. Uh, PJ Haywood, very good boyo. Did a good job on that. But... This, this guy, hands down, my favorite character, just design-wise, character-wise, and all that, I don't, and as, as I said again, I'm, it's not because of his voice, his voice is super deep, and he's cool and edgy, and no, I don't like him for the reason that he's, like, edgy-ish, I like him for the reason that he's character-designed, I like his character, I like how he's built, I like the whole suit gimmick and all that, I like the, I like the everything. Like how you can see the wires and stuff inside, and you can see all the flesh and stuff poking out and all that. It's very cool. So, there you go. That's that's my list for uh, everybody. And Springtrap here uh, lists high because, you know, favorite character. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Uh, goodbye.